Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. My name is Nadi and Sands, and this, of course, is learn how to edit stuff. So I got an email the other day about making a grand day Sans Undertale meme tutorial with the little text box that pops up in the bottom corner with like the pixelated text, the little pixelated character that just kind of floats in screen. I've seen these memes before. I've seen grand day memes. I'm not super out of touch with meme culture people. Come on. But I've got that question before and I'm sure I will get it again. So today we are doing the grand day Sans Undertale meme tutorial, but we're not gonna use the intellectual property from any of his meme videos because I don't really know who Sans Undertale is or who he belongs to or who I can get by so we're just gonna play it safe and do it with other random things that we find on the internet we're gonna do it in after effects super easy to do it there so open up adobe after effects because we're getting started all right guys i've got adobe after effects open and i've already saved my project and the first thing we're gonna do is come up to composition new composition and we're going to start a new composition now typical with grand day videos they're in a square format so we're gonna do 1920 by 1920 in a square i don't really know if that's the exact size that he uses but it should be square so 1920 by 19 1920 at 10 second duration and I'm gonna click OK and it will make our square down here now the first thing we're gonna do is create the text box for our character to speak with and that's very simple we're gonna come up here to layer new solid and we're gonna make it a black solid just like that click OK it will fill the whole composition and then right up here at this mask button we're gonna create a rectangle mask just like so so guys, see this little circle here with the line on it? That's your anchor point of your shape. And if I were to say hypothetically rotate this, it's actually going to rotate around that circle as the rotation point. So in order to center that with your shape, you can hit Control, Alt, and Home on your keyboard, and that will just pop it down right into the center so that if I were to rotate this, which we're not gonna do, I'm just showing you just for the sake of showing you, it will be centered with your shape. Little pro tip. So now that we've made our initial black box, we'll just click on this black solid and hit Control D on the keyboard to duplicate the layer. I'm going to hit Enter on that layer and I'm gonna call this Outline. And very simply, I'm gonna come out to my effects and presets. I'm gonna type in Stroke. And I'm going to drop a stroke right on that layer. I'm going to make it white and I'm going to make it about six pixels. And if I zoom in here, you can see that we're creating that nice little white outline around the outside of this box. And I'm gonna set my brush hardness to 100, and that's all I'm gonna do for that. I'm also gonna take another stroke, and I'm going to drop it on my bottom layer, and I'm going to make the color black, and you'll see why in just a moment. And I'm going to increase the brush size until we get a nice little outline around the outside of our white stroke. Now, that's the easiest way to do it. I know Grande kind of has a little bit harder edges on his boxes, so if you didn't want to use the stroke on the bottom, what you could also do is delete the stroke off of here. I'm going to lock this outline layer, and I am very simply just going to pull the outsides of my black solid out just a little bit from each side. Just like that. And now we're getting a little bit harder edges on the outside of our square, which is a little bit more typical to the grand day style. So you guys can do whichever one you want. I tend to think the stroke is a little bit faster to do and it looks relatively the same, but you guys can do whatever you want. So now that we've got our text box, we're gonna create some text on the inside. So I'm gonna click my title tool up here in my toolbar and click down in my black box. I'm gonna hit shift eight for the asterisk and then I'm gonna put super random text, do it for memes. And now I will come over here and center it with my text box. Now, usually what Grande will do is he will sometimes put a little character head over here on this side, or sometimes he will just do text all throughout the box. So I'll leave that up to you guys, whatever you want to do. If you wanted to put a little character head down here, you can do that. Today, we're going to be using this little pixel monster guy that I found on Google. So if I wanted to put him down here, in this, now I can come over here and put the text to the right hand side. And by the way, the font that we're using for this is Perfect DOS VGA 437 Windows. I will put the link to that font in the video description below. It is free to download on defont.com. There are tons and tons of the pixel VGA type fonts on defont. This is the closest one I could find to the Grand Day meme. So if you want to download that one in the video description below. Realizing I just spelled super wrong, so we'll do one of those. And then also guys, if you wanted to center your text down here with the text right above it, there's a couple ways you can do it. You could hit spacebar and you can try to get it as close as possible. Or if you hold down alt and use the left and right arrow keys, you can just very, very minimally move the text over 
to either side using the right and left arrow keys. So I like to do it this way because it's a little bit more controlled. So now I'm just gonna line that up right underneath with super. So now I can just kind of offset my text just like how Grande does. All right, so now that we've got that going for us, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make this text type out and it is super, super easy. What we're gonna do is click on our text layer and come up here to our effects and presets. We're going to type in type and we're going to drop an animate in typewriter effect onto our text layer. And you have to make sure that your playhead is at the very beginning of the composition. Otherwise, it'll start from wherever your playhead is. And the next thing you're gonna do after that is click on the text layer and hit U on the keyboard, which will bring up all of our animated properties. And if I scrub through this, you'll see that it is typing out on screen for me. This keyframe being the start of the typing animation and this keyframe being the end. So if I wanted to, I can just kind of come back here and make the text appear a little bit quicker. And then I can very simply duplicate this layer, control D on the keyboard, and then move the layer to where I want the next round of text to start. I can click on the layer underneath, hit Alt and the right bracket on the keyboard, or simultaneously, I can just drag this layer over from the right, either one works. And then now I will have my second set of text here, which can say whatever we want. There you go. And I will hit Alt and the right arrow key to line up my text with the text right above it, just like that. And I'm gonna make sure that my little asterisk lines up with the former asterisk. So I'll just pull this layer out a little bit and make sure that this layer here is lined up exactly with the asterisk from before. Just like that. Perfect, this is a work of art. So now that we've got our text typing out very, very easily, now the next thing we can do is kind of add something to our scene. So if you wanted to, I'm gonna make this bigger. If you wanted to, you could just take this monster guy and you could scale him up really big and just kind of have him in the frame. But what Grande will do is he will have the Sans Undertale guy just kind of like floating around in the scene in random things. So we're gonna do that today. I'm going to take this picture of a house and I'm going to scale it up really nice and big. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this little guy in the window here, in this window. And then the next thing I will do is I will create a new solid. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a mask for my guy to be inside of this window. So create a new solid, doesn't really matter what color. I'm gonna hit T on the keyboard to bring up the opacity and bring it all the way down to zero, but still make sure that that layer is selected. And now what I'm gonna do is zoom in here take my rectangular mask tool and I'm just going to put a mask around all of these window panes right here. Doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, imperfection is kind of the most charming part about all these memes. So you don't have to do it perfectly, trust me. All right, now that I've got all these squares cut out, what are we actually gonna do with that? Well, we're gonna change all the masks from add to subtract down here. So just give it one of these guys. And then I'm gonna make the opacity back up to 100. And now you'll see that we just have a big gray layer with all of our windows cut out. And now when we take our little monster guy and we put him down here, I'm gonna change the track mat of the monster layer to look at this light gray solid to mask out everything except for these squares. So I'm gonna click on the monster. I'm gonna to come to my track mat and I'm gonna hit alpha mat inverted. And now what that's gonna allow me to do is take my little monster guy and I can kind of move him around in the house and all you'll see is him in the window. So that's kind of cool. And then the very last thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna make him kind of float up and down in frame and you don't have to do this manually. There's a very simple After Effects command that will let us do this. Come up to Effects and Presets. We're gonna come up to Animation Presets, Behaviors, and then Wiggle Position. And we're just gonna drop that on our monster layer here. And then under our effect controls up here, I'm gonna change my wiggle amount from 50 to 10. And he will just kind of wiggle in the window on his own. And if I wanted to, I can kind of scale him up a little bit and I can fit him in the window just a little bit nicer, maybe like that. And if you wanted to make his little wiggle animation more aggressive, you can turn this from 10 to maybe 15. And now he will wiggle even more. Well, there you go, guys. I mean, that's pretty much it. That's all the Grand Day meme really is, right? It's a character that's like sometimes moving in frame or sometimes not, and just random text that's just kind of typing out at the bottom of the screen, and then it'll switch scenes to somebody else who's not the little Sans Undertale guy, and then it'll go back to him, and they're just talking about random stuff, and then it escalates from there. But this is the very basic functionality of that meme. This is the very basic functionality of how to create that meme. So I hope you guys learned something new and exciting today in After Effects. There's a couple little nuggets of gold in there where if your anchor point is somewhere else in the scene, if you hit Control, Alt, and Home, 
on your keyboard, it will center the anchor point in the shape that you are trying to create. We're also using a bunch of built-in After Effects presets and scripts to do things for us so we don't have to do it ourselves, right? Typing out all of that text, there is a script for that. It's the typewriter effect. Also, moving our little character around in the screen, that is the wiggle behavior. Don't do more work than you have to. Use all of the tools that are built into After Effects to do this super fast. And for the sound component of this video, you can take any sound effect you want and just try to match it up to when all the letters type out in your sentence and it can be anything. You can pitch it up or down. You can make it as wonky and as weird as you want. You can easily do that in Premiere or Audition or in After Effects if you really wanted to, but the audio is gonna be your choice, so you can just do that however you want. Well, I hope this video was helpful to those of you out there trying to make a Grand Day Sans Undertale style meme. We do it here for the memes on Learn How to Edit Stuff. You know that, I know that. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also check out the last video that you missed. We do them here weekly at Learn How to Edit Stuff. Tweet at me, at Naughty and Sans, if you have an idea for a tutorial that you'd like to see me do subscribe, check out the last video that you missed, and I will see you next time.